Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Back in Diapers. Today I'm coming at you guys with a review of the pull-on overnight underwear by Threaded Armor. Um, I did receive this from them for the purpose of a review. It's taken me forever to get to this um, because I keep Back when I first was using it, I was using it for work, and it worked fantastically. But um, I kept, you know, meaning to do the review after I washed it, and then I kept wearing it again. So I it, I just haven't gotten to it. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Threaded Armor pull-on overnight diaper. Um, Threaded Armor is a sister company of Super Undies, I believe. So they have ones for kids and ones for adults. Um, and... Uh, Let's just get into it and talk about this diaper here. So I did order the biggest size they had from them. Um, and when it came to me, it was just a little bit slightly too tight in the waistband. So I did a little modification of my own and have not finished it yet. Basically, I opened up a slit in the seam here and I uh, took out the elastic here because it was just a little too tight. Um, when doing elastic, in my case... I always make sure that the elastic can stretch as far as the fabric itself goes. Um, their elastic was slightly smaller than that, so that's why I had an issue with it. Um, but it's an easy modification I can make, and it's honestly an easy modification they could make as well. I recommend for them that they go up with one more size even because this came so close to being the perfect fit for me, but there was ever so slight of tightness in this area, um, and for me, but it was wearable. I just would have liked a little teeny bit more um, leg room, you could say. So let's talk about exactly how this diaper works. So on the outside, we have a PUL, which is a polyurethane laminate. It is a basically a, uh, a polyester knit on the outside, and then they bond it in the back. I don't know if you can't see it on this particular um, diaper, but it is bonded with a plastic to make it waterproof and at least water Proof in most most of the time um, In some cases the the if you're wicking the wetness will get onto the outer part of the fabric itself but usually um, That's only if you're really really wet. So the basic design of this um, This insert is there is some absorbency on the inside here um, I'm not sure exactly what's in there. Looking at the pad right here that is attached that you can actually put inside the front bit here. It's a little pocket. I'm guessing that it's um, this is a microfiber um, and it's got a stay dry layer of uh, athletic wicking jersey basically um, on the top. At least one layer if not two. But I think it's one layer. So it's a microfiber. Um, from what I've, I've never really tried microfiber before this. Um, what I hear is that it does really well at absorbing quickly. Um, it just has a little bit of an issue holding a lot at a time, which is why I personally use hemp terry cloth on my diapers um, because it does hold a little bit more. But the, like I said, the insert is attached to the back of the diaper itself and it stuffs inside the little pocket here. Um, the absorbent part of the diaper is covered in a athletic wicking jersey type fabric. Um, it goes all along the the portion of the um, where you where the absorbency is, and then on the side we have a I, I think it's micro fleece. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure most of the time when you see fleece on a diaper, it is micro fleece because it does have stay dry properties to it. Um, and then the uh, waistband and the legs are all also micro fleece as well. Um, basically they have elastic in the leg that goes along the, the, the absorbent portion of the diaper. Over here there is really no, but I can feel elastic in there. Um, all in all this diaper did work fairly well. Um, I personally need more absorbency than this one provides, um, but that's kind of me. My bladder is super duper large and um, voids large amounts at once. I wore this primarily for work. Um, I worked retail at uh, Joanne Fabrics for some, a little while, and I would wear this to work 
uh, because it, it was pull on and it made life a little bit easier. When I wore disposables to work, I would have a lot of issues with the diaper itself falling apart. This worked fantastically and honestly, I would do it again. Um, so they do offer several different prints. They offer plain colors, they offer a range of sizes um, and a couple of different absorbency levels. Like I said, I went with the, the overnight one. And honestly, if you are somebody who does have incontinence to the point of your, ble your bladder lets out a larger amount rather than just dribbling, I would honestly say go with the overnight because it, you really do need that extra absorbency. I'm not sure what their other ones are like, but as you can see, this one is really very, very low profile for, um, for a cloth diaper. Um, and I've been thoroughly impressed with it. And I actually need to use it a little bit more often. Um, once I, you know, get the modifications in. I absolutely love the fabric. Um, I had a choice of different fabrics and I couldn't decide between monkeys or this. And it was a very hard toss up because I love monkeys. One tip I do have for them is maybe go away from the white on the outside, um, purely for purposes, if you can see close, I'm not sure how well, but you can see that it pills and it tends to look a little bit dingy. I personally like to only use white on the inside of my diapers. If it's anything on the outside, I prefer to use a different color um, just because it's it looks better in the long run. But this diaper has been, it's so comfortable, you guys. It really, really is. It feels almost like normal underwear. And I was very, very, very impressed with this. Um, and... As far as, you know, cloth diapers go, I don't usually recommend very many of them outside of my own, but they they were spot on with this. I really do find it very, very comfortable, and um, so definitely check them out. I will have their link in the description box below um, so you can take a look, because seriously, guys, go pick one of these up, even if it's just like an emergency diaper that, hey... I'm out and out and about and I need something quick. This can fold down pretty good and go right in a bag with your other diapers or clothing. Um, and it's a very low profile, no pretty much noise free diaper. So it's really good for out and about, um, especially if you know you're not gonna have to change while you're out like me. Um, but seriously, Threaded Armor, you guys did a fantastic job with this and I was super impressed. Um, so I would definitely buy it in the future um, for, there's a pill, sorry. I would definitely buy this in the future. It's a decent price um, for what you get. And I really, really was impressed with it. I did not think I would be because I'm not usually impressed with other people's cloth diapers. There's a couple that I like that, um, but uh, yeah. So check out Threaded Armor, you guys. The link will be in the description box below. And pick one of these up for yourself. It's really a decent price. There's a couple different prints, like I said. Uh, but it is super duper 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 comfy diaper to wear. Um, and it's it's very, very discreet because it's thin. All right, you guys. <clears throat> My voice is giving out here. Ugh. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you all for the support that you've given this channel. And um, be sure to check out Threaded Armor down below and pick up your own pull-on diaper. So, because uh, they're really awesome. They they really are. And they were a wonderful company to work with. And I, I feel bad that it took me this long to get this review up. Um, but it's, it's a great diaper. And I wanted to be able to really test it out and see how it worked. All right, guys, that is it for today. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you're new, be sure to subscribe because there's some pretty cool videos that will be coming out here soon. And uh, definitely head over and check out my shop. The link is in the description box below. And if you want to support my channel here on YouTube, feel free to check out my Patreon as well. You guys have been awesome, and I really, really appreciate you. So until next time, bye-bye.